Hello there. Welcome to Java. Today, we are going to learn about modifiers in Java. Access modifiers in Java helps to restrict the scope of a class, constructor, variable, method, or data member. There are four types of access modifiers available in Java. Default. Private. Protected. And, public. These access modifiers, are used for encapsulation. Starting with default. A class, method or data member, is said to be having the default access modifier by default. It is, when no access modifier is specified. The default modifier provides accessibility within the same package only. So, let's take an example of the cat class in package p1. Here, the cat class has the default access modifier. And the cat class is visible to all the classes that belong to the package p1. However, if we try to use the cat class in another class outside of package p1, we will get a compilation error. This is because default modifier provides accessibility within same package only. Next we have, private. The private access modifier is specified using the keyword private. The methods or data members declared as private are accessible only within the class in which they are declared. You can consider a password in this case. You don't want to share it with anyone, right? Similarly, the private modifier makes methods and members accessible within the class itself only. Even another class of the same package will not be able to access these members. So, let's take an example of the data class in package p1. Here, we have declared a private variable named name in the data class. Next we have a main class in the same package p1. Here, we try to access the private member name of data class. When we run the program, we will get the following error. The error is generated because we are trying to access the private variable of the data class from the main class. While, the private member is only accessible within the same class. Next, we have protected. The protected access modifier is specified using the keyword protected. Methods, and data members declared as protected could be accessed anywhere within the same package, as well as from subclasses. You can think of a swing in the lawn of your house. The kids in your house could play with it as well as the kids and the neighbor. But since the swing is protected, it is not possible for anyone unknown to enter the house and play with the swing. Similarly, if we take an example of Java code. Here, we have two packages P1 and P2. We have A class in package P1 and B class in package P2. To make A class accessible at in package P2, we make it public. We add the method display in A class and, make it protected. Next, we make B class extend from A class. And access the protected member display of B class. This code compiles successfully and prints the output. This is A class. This is because the protected member display is accessible within the subclass B of A class. Lastly, we have public. The public access modifier is specified using the keyword public. The public access modifier has the widest scope among all other access modifiers. Classes, methods, or data members that are declared as public are accessible from everywhere in the program. There is no restriction on the scope of public data members. You can take an example of your social media account. Let's say your Facebook account. All your posts, that you make public are viewed and accessed by, anyone using Facebook. Similarly, any class, method or data member that you declare as public is accessible anywhere within program. Let's take this Java code as an example. Here, we have a public class A, in package P1, with a public method display. Next, we have another package P2, with B class. We import the package P1. And now even without inheriting A class, we can access the public method display of class A, in class B. This code compiles without any error. And gives the output. This is A class. This is only possible when you make the display method public. So. We are done with all four access modifiers in Java. This was all from my side. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.